Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Anna and if you're new, welcome. And to all my returning subscribers, welcome back. It's been a little bit of time since I put out a video, but I'm back and I am wanting to share with you guys a few great recipes. So today I have a spicy prong cauliflower rice meal. So, so good. It's a great low carb keto option if you're trying to keep your carbs down and also a very quick meal for dinner if you've had a long day at work and you just don't have time to make this great gourmet meal. So 10 to 12 minutes, you've got dinner on the table, maybe even some leftovers for lunch. I'm gonna show you guys how to make this, so let's get started. So what we're gonna need for our spicy prong shrimp cauliflower rice is five sticks of green onions, one red pepper, three cloves of garlic, half a chopped medium onion, one teaspoon of paprika, half a teaspoon of red chili flakes, half a teaspoon of cayenne pepper, about half a teaspoon of garlic powder, as well as pepper and some pink Himalaya salt. I'm also going to put on some of the sriracha hot chili sauce. big heap full of spinach and you're going to need some cauliflower rice you can use fresh I have frozen and I usually use about one and a half bags to two bags so I've brought about two bags for now and I've already peeled the um, shrimp and the prongs and we're going to get our pan ready for the cauliflower rice so I went ahead and I chopped the onion already. So I'm going to chop up garlic. So I'm just preheating the pan a little. I'm going to add about one tablespoon of butter as well as some avocado oil. I'm just gonna let that melt down. Right now that that's nice and melted down, I'm gonna add in our onion and garlic get that sauteed a little bit. All right, so that's browning up nicely. So let's add in our salted flour. So this is frozen, so we can have some water to it, which is going to help because it'll kind of create a little bit of a sauce underneath. So let's get that to sauce it a little bit. Take about five minutes or so. I'm going to end up adding the rest of the second thing in. All right, that's a pretty good texture that we want to add in the rest of our ingredients. So I'm going to add in our spices. Mix that in. And you can use um, a little more of each one if you like, or a little less, whatever you guys like. I'm just 
stir that on in nicely. We're then going to add in our green onions as well as our red peppers. Give that a stir in. Now I'm going to add in our shrimp and prawns. We're going to let that cook up. Mix that on in. And I do like to add a little bit more avocado oil, or you could add butter if you guys like. So I'm just going to add just a little bit more over. That's optional. Stir that in, cover it up, and we'll add spinach at the very end. As you can see, it's starting to cook up nicely. I can smell the spices. I'm going to now add in our spinach. This will just wilt away. Cover it back up and back in a few minutes. All right, that's wilted away in there. Looks like you put so much spinach in, but it never comes out like a lot, does it? <laughs> and I'm going to just add in now some of this sriracha hot sauce, just a little bit. You can add more, you can not add it if you don't want it. All depending on how spicy you are looking to have your meal. Alright, let's check this out. Let's pour that on in. Look at that, guys. Yummy. This is a great low carb keto lunch or dinner. Leftovers, it stores well for a good few days. Look at that. Look how delicious this looks. And it only took like 12 minutes to make. Top it off with some parsley flakes chives, whatever you guys like, and voila, a beautiful, healthy, low-carb, keto meal. I hope everyone enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up, it really helps the channel. Also, don't forget to subscribe down below if you would like to see future videos from me. I hope everyone stays safe, healthy, and has a wonderful day. Take care. Bye now.